Morning folks. I just want to do a real fast follow-up um, to my last video. So what I was talking about when you're dealing with now this isn't crushed material, but this is still is screen banker on one inch minus. Um but it's the same concept because you have stone mixed with fines and the fines the reason I was emphasizing on the driveway project the stone dust itself or the fines whatever you call it uh, is that's what actually binds all the stone together when you do this once you roll it out or however you're gonna do it you know that's what binds it all together now if I fill this box blade just like this now unfortunately I can't demonstrate that here because I don't have like a 300 foot driveway here to demonstrate this on if I take this box blade right here and I run with the box level so that both cutting edges are cutting or running the same plane if I if I run with that like that full and I just keep driving around what happens is the material is moving around in here it's shaking it's, and the fines are actually falling down and out and underneath this edge and then all you're going to be left with is stone so what you really your goal should be to incorporate all of that together which is the reason why oftentimes I'll run with the front blade up half three quarters of an inch whatever um, and that allows stone and the fines to fall out together and it helps to keep it all incorporated rather than having what you would end up with is a nice base of all your dust or your fines and then stone on top so that is why I said you can actually overwork crusher run or in this case this is a screen bank run gravel but like I said it's the same concept because it's got fines and stone mixed in it so it's the same it's the same concept as, as a crushed product but that's why I was emphasizing that as much as I was and I was just trying to help people to understand the box blade is a wonderful wonderful tool it's super versatile however there is a learning curve to it and the quicker you can straighten that curve out and get on the right track and get to using this thing properly the better off you're going to be
here until I never actually raised the level of the I didn't pick the three point up I just graded until I ran the box blade ran off that edge and that actually worked I do like grading backwards um, I don't know why but I like doing it that way up a little bit more material while the front cutting edge is doing the grading in reverse. again just a short video I just wanted to show you what I meant about just you know running the box blade level and just driving around with a box blade full of material is you're really not accomplishing as much as you think you are you know you have to allow the material time to redistribute itself and if you're just driving around with a full box blade you're not 
really doing that and you're not accomplishing much other than seat time in the tractor but this again just the basic the basic uh, you know i wish i had brought my tripod i could have set that up over here and showed you guys better the the back and up technique um where this cutting edge here is actually up off of the ground and this cutting edge is actually doing the reverse grading and then again you know you get back you get back here you pick it up and you throw the top link out and then you do the same thing the other way with this edge up and this edge grading so okay well i just wanted to clear that up thank you for watching and uh we'll catch you again soon i know i got quite a lot of brush hogging to do um if you guys feel like watching brush hogging videos i know i've got a lot of that to do so um thanks again for watching